Fab 32 represents a strategic decision by Intel to invest in the future. It builds upon a tradition of innovative manufacturing leadership in the state. It represents an investment of $3 billion in manufacturing capacity and brings Chandler the most advanced chip manufacturing plant in the world. Fab 32 is the next step in the legacy of high volume manufacturing here in the state of Arizona. Starting with Fab 12 back in the mid 90s and then Fab 22 in the year 2000, Fab 32 will go into production the second half of 2007 and get fully ramped in 2008. We're proud to add to that legacy of manufacturing in Arizona. Here are a few examples of what has gone into creating this facility. There are more than 568 miles of wiring, 137 miles of mechanical piping, and 75 miles of conduit. There are more than 8,000 tons of rebar, 11,000 tons of structural steel, and 86,000 cubic yards of concrete. This is enough concrete to pave a three-foot wide sidewalk from the front door of Fab 32 to downtown Phoenix, a distance of 26 miles. But the most impressive thing about building Fab 32 is its people. It took more than 8 million skilled labor hours to construct the facility. That skilled labor translates into wages, which is fed back into our communities and supports the tax base of state, county, and city governments. Intel has a long-term commitment to the community. The benefits of Fab 32 began immediately at construction. To build the world's best microprocessors, Intel packs millions upon millions of transistors onto a chip in high-quality manufacturing clean room facilities that are automated as never before. These transistors are so small that even the smallest particles can contaminate the entire chip and ruin the processor. Consider this. This graphic represents a cross-section of a human hair which is about 75 to 100 microns in diameter. The inner blue circle represents the limit of detection that the human eye can see, 40 to 50 microns in size. The black dot represents the FAB construction certification. 0.5 microns, roughly 80 times smaller than what is visible to the human eye. FAB 32 builds microprocessors with features that are only 45 nanometers wide. Typically, when people think of an Intel semiconductor factory, they think of people in spacesuits in a clean room. However, the clean room isn't the only part of a semiconductor factory. There are many layers within the factory, with the clean room being just one of four critical levels. The top floor of the factory is called the pressurized plenum. This area handles and controls all the air filtration. On the roof of Fab 32 are multiple MAHs, or makeup air handlers. Each of these MAHs is about the size of a Greyhound bus and is responsible for the control and flow of air through the air cleaners and air scrubbers. Below the pressurized plenum is the clean room. For Fab 32, this is referred to as a ballroom fab. The areas are more open to facilitate faster movement and control of the product within. Next is the clean subfab. Here, support equipment, chemical and gas delivery systems are contained for the ballroom fab above. Finally, below the clean subfab is the utility level. This is where electrical and other support systems are kept and maintained. We've got a unique perspective in Fab 32. Two years ago when we announced the project, it was really only a plan on a piece of paper. 24 months later, we're on schedule and on budget of an almost $3 billion project pretty amazing to watch the groundbreaking, the construction, the building activities, and now tool installation. Through that process, I've had a chance to work with some incredible, dedicated, and really talented people. Fab 32 is like a city that never sleeps. When we're making these products, we put them through a sequence of process steps. So the silicon goes through a sequence of steps. They get processed, they get uh, work done on them in a piece of equipment or a tool. What we've done in 32 is recentered the entire organization around that tool. That tool runs 724, 365 days a year. 
And so our organization needs to run 7, 24, 365 days a year. And we need to have, for the complexity of the process and products that we're making here, we need to maximize our technical talent around the clock. What's unique about the way Fab32 is structured is that we have maximized our technician and engineering technical talent around the clock. Fab32's versatile employees are trained to execute their job functions flawlessly and to take initiative to solve problems before they occur. Its workforce includes experts and specialists such as chemical and electrical engineers, full-time nursing personnel, and emergency response team members. A typical factory day is 12 hours. When a technician starts a shift, he or she may be involved in morning operation meetings, running product, stretching, equipment maintenance, in-depth training, and involved in task forces to solve engineering and production problems. At the end of the shift, the technician will pass down to a counterpart on another shift. The process continues without interruption. I want to be part of the best manufacturing machine on the planet. You've got to have the best process technology, you've got to have the best product, and then you've got to be the best manufacturing machine. And Fab32 is set up to be the best manufacturing machine by leveraging the learnings in FabSort manufacturing over the past two years of not only the best technology startups and the best ramps that anyone can do in this business, but we are doing it at a faster pace and we are doing it at better costs than we've ever done historically. The Fab32 family would really like to thank our folks in construction, our folks in technology development, and almost all the groups in TMG that really helped bring this factory from an idea two years ago into production in 2007. Thank you.